All right, guys, in the next few practices, what we're going to be focusing on is some offensive zone play. So in this video, I just want to focus on just uh, gap control. And, you know, initially where you set your gap is going to be in the offensive zone. I want to kind of go over just a little mentality that we're going to have going forward so you guys can learn it and then practice it uh, going forward here in the next few months. So three ways you set your gap. First way is through any type of breakout pass. Uh, it's your first three, steps, first three steps hard inside the dots to set your gap. Um, obviously, another way to set your gap is through a neutral zone with any type of surfing or defending skating forwards. And the one we're going to talk about in particular in this uh, little video here is going to be in the offensive zone. Um, and it's a kind of little mentality. It's a count to five mentality. And I'll explain that uh, going forward here. So ozone gap control. Okay, it's an area of the ice where you set your initial gap. If you have a tight gap here, the likelihood of creating a turnover or a dump puck is really high. This is where your initial gap is set in the offensive zone. So you see this picture here, Chalmerson, it's an old picture, but Chalmerson is super tight with Van Riemsdyk. If he's at the blue line, Van Riemsdyk gets the puck. Okay, Van Riemsdyk has time to skate, but he's tight here on him. Van Riemsdyk gets it. He has no room to go. So this is where we want to be setting our gap is in the offensive zone. Okay, and there's a there's a little mentality. It's Some coaches call it swimming. As a D in the offensive zone, you always want to be in constant motion. Okay, and I'll go over this count to five mentality in the next slide here. So count to five mentality uh, is for the defense in the offense zone. You want to locate the opponent's highest forward and get as close as you can to him. Okay, the objective is this is to deny any uh, breakout play to that highest forward and to extend ozone time. So create a turnover and we can play in the offensive zone more. So you see up this picture here, this diagram, this would be a team's traditional D zone coverage. You have all C strong side D in the corner, center supporting, D near the net. You have a winger on the strong side. And then this essentially would be the opponent's highest forward. So as a D, what we usually see is, you know, a weak side D staying put on the blue line. Okay, feet still. If this guy gets the puck, he has tons of time and space to move and make a play. What we want to do as a D is to always be constantly moving and closing our gap on this forward. So essentially, if he gets the puck, we're right tight to him, and we're making a stick on puck play, and it just creating a turnover and extending our offensive zone. So you can see here in this diagram here, if you look at, Bo this is Boston's highest forward. The Philly defense realizes it, and he's going to get nice and tight to him and close his gap. So when this guy does get the puck, he has nowhere to go and nowhere to create a play with. So we're just going to watch a few videos based off this count to five mentality and setting a gap in the offensive zone. So first one here, you can see the avalanche player. He's the highest forward. 82 on Arizona is going to realize that. He's going to constantly be moving. Once he gets the puck here, he's going to jump him. This guy has no play here. Zero play. The only play he has is to go turn with the puck and go. 82 is going to realize that, and he's going to cut off any play he has. Here's Makar. Makar is going to realize 11 and white is their highest forward. He's going to come down and close the gap on 11 and white. Now, he doesn't get it, but right here, that's a tight gap set, and it's all through the offense zone. So if you know any of the Dallas players do get the puck, they don't have time and space to skate within the neutral zone. Here we talk about our surfing. Now, here's that diagram I showed you. The highest player on Boston right here, 43. So 15 is going to skate up on him. He's going to surf, close his gap. 43 has no play with the puck. Philly's going to have extended ozone time. Here again, close the gap. 43 has no play. Philly's able to extend offense's own play. Last one here. It's a good clip here. So 55 on Calgary. He's going to realize, he's going to count. He's going to see four Edmonton Oilers in, and then he's going to count and see this highest forward, okay, which is 44 here on Edmonton. He realizes he has no support. He's going to surf. He's going to close his gap on 44. Okay, he's able to create a turnover in the offensive zone. So that's the count to five mentality. As a defenseman, you're trying to realize or locate the opponent's highest forward and close your gap as much as you can in them just to extend offense zone time, okay, and create a turnover.